Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is June 13, 2013. It is now 8 a.m. Woohoo! Do you make excuse? Are you a person who loves making excuses? Okay, here's the thought of the day. With every assignment, God also gives us abilities to accomplish them. Every assignment God gives us, He gives us abilities to accomplish them. So if He tells you, I think I want you to take over the adult Bible study. He's going to give you the abilities to take them over. Whether it's sitting in the adult Bible studies, learning what you're going to be doing, going to the nursing homes and, uh, you know, like that, and learning. <laughs> this goes with the lesson because we're reading Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 through 17. And from the NRSV, Exodus 4.10, Moses said to the Lord, Oh my Lord, I have never been eloquent. Oh my Lord, I have never been eloquent. I don't know what to say. I have problems speaking. I am not a good speaker. How many times have we said that? He has chosen someone here who does not speak eloquently. I feel like Moses so much. I feel like I need a speaker. <laughs> okay. Like he said, Oh my Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past, nor even now that you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Okay. We'll save the story for after the... Okay, so Exodus chapter 4, verses 1 through 17. King James Version, I hope you're reading with me. And Moses answered and said... Oh, wait. Moses turned... See, you have chosen someone who does not speak eloquently. I can't even read. Okay, chapter 4. Moses' rod is turned into a serpent as a sign. And Moses answered and said, But, behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for... They will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that? What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. And it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. I would have been gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, God, but if you would have turned my rod into a serpent, I would have been gone. I'm dead. I'm not deathly afraid of snakes, but I cannot stand them. They startle me when I see them, and I do tend to jump. Yes, I will admit it. I, it's not that I'm afraid of them. I do not like them. I hate snakes. I don't fear them. I fear the bite of them, but I do not like them. <laughs> Okay, so I would have done the same thing. <coughs> Verse 4. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it. And it became a rod in his hand. And they, that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob hath appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. 
And he put his hand into thy bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it turned again into his other flesh. 8. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it unto the dry land. And the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. He is reluctant to be sent, and Aaron is appointed to assist him. Moses is reluctant. To be sent. So God appoints Aaron to assist Moses. Verse 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of slow tongue. Now I see why they put the NRSV version in there, because it goes into more detail. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or death, or the seeing, or the blind? Let me repeat that. Listen to this. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or death? or the seeing, or the blind. Have not I the Lord? You understand that, right? 12. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he has, you know, made me blah, blah, blah. The words, not mine, his many times. Watch some of my videos. Thirteen. And he said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him who, by the hand of him who thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. And he said, Ah, is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And he will teach you what ye shall do. 16. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people. And he shall be, even he shall be, to thee instead of a mouth. And thou shalt be to him instead of God. And thou shalt take this rod in thy hand, wherewith, 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 sorry, wherewith thou shalt do signs. <laughs> okay. When Moses was called by God, Moses' first response was, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? Exodus 3 verse 11. God then countered all of Moses' objections about his mission. God gave him power to perform miracles and promised to go with him and teach him what to say. Moses was still not willing and wanting and wanted someone else to be given that job. Moses still not willing and wanted somebody else to be given that job. Oh, feel those goosebumps just rolling across the body as if the Holy Spirit's like, uh, remind you of somebody?
a um, couple months ago, beginning of this year, I was uh, told to ask about the uh, Sabbath to my pastor. I didn't want to. I was scared. I put it off. I put it off. I was told, do it. I finally did it. I talked to him. He didn't understand, you know. I was like, okay, I do what you wanted me to do. I talked to him. It wasn't the fact for him for me to talk to him. It was for the fact of my own understanding of the Sabbath. And I did not understand that. It wasn't for the fact of me to even talk to him about the Sabbath or to even get the understanding. It was the obedience of doing what God had said. Instead of making excuses on why not to do it, he, do, he knows so much more than I do, Lord. Why am I going to go talk to my pastor about something he already knows about? He knows more than me. What am I going to go tell him? God tells you to do something by God. You better do it. He's only going to tell you so many times before he makes you do it. And then there will be retributions for the rebellion on not doing it. Good morning, handsome. All right, give me a hug. Say hi. Say hi to the YouTubers. Hi, and I got my bus bus boom sword on. I'm playing to play the thing to die. Did you? Yep, last night. Good job. I was getting 24 when you were asleep, but I'm not at the book place yet. No, not yet. That's the boy I get the boom sword. That when you can just bust through a wall with just one hit. All right, let me finish this. The one with the cracks in him. All right, go play your game. So you need to brush your teeth. You got some morning breath. All right, so. God was angry, but then commissioned Aaron to speak for Moses. <laughs> it goes on telling about his, you know, the writer's situation with God, which I pretty much did the same thing. Um, do you think of any time that God's told you to do something? And... You didn't do it when he told you to do it. And then he accepts when you do it. He accepts the fact that you're doing it. But not the fact that you're doing it on your time. He wanted it done on his time, not your time. I'm not just talking to myself here. I was told to tell somebody the truth. I told them a partial truth. It was to protect the whole family. But it injured me and Douglas in the process, too. We're still working through it. It's still hard on him when I told him the complete truth. We're still working. And it hurt the other part of the family too when the truth came out. But I had to come out. Because God wouldn't let it go. God tells you to do something. Don't make excuses. Get it done. All right, my brothers and sisters, I love you. Peace be with you. Don't make excuses. Do what I want you to do. Love you guys.
Douglas.